Do you struggle finding a quiet place to stream or even just a quiet time of day where you won't be disturbed while streaming? Because I sure did and I had to figure out how to stream in a very noisy house. So today I have a few tips on how you can reduce the background noise in your streams. Hi, I'm Quirk Pixel. I create tips and tutorials to make your content creation journey easier. Journey? Journey. My goal is to help creators to plan their content, avoid burnout, and to create balance in their lives. This video is sponsored by Own Pro. Own Pro is an OBS plugin that gives you the creative assets you need under one subscription. They have over 600 premium overlays, alerts, and widgets for all kinds of streamers. So if you're just starting out or upgrading your stream, Owned has the designs for you. And Owned Pro has some additional features like a Twitch chat bot, royalty free music for streamers, and embedded Twitch chat in OBS Studio. What I love most about Owned Pro is they make your life easier as a streamer, which is what we're all about on this channel. It's super affordable monthly subscription that gives you the freedom to experiment with overlays and alerts with a one click installation. You can use my link in the description to try own pro for free today. Okay, let's get back into our video, which is looking at how you can reduce the background noise in your live streams. When you first start streaming in your parents' house or in a flat with loads of housemates, it can be quite hard to find a quiet time to stream. But luckily there is software and also so equipment that can help with that. Just having a good microphone in the first place can help reduce any background noise or interference that a normal microphone might pick up. But if you don't have a microphone that does that, then here are some tips that you can try to reduce the background noise in any normal USB microphone. The first thing you want to try is OBS microphone filters. You can first try adding a noise gate if this is done properly, then your microphone is only going to pick up when you talk into the microphone and not when it hears something else in the background. And the other filter you can try, which I find really helps, is the noise reduction filter. So that works really well and it's a great place to start when you first start streaming and your microphone is picking up your fan of your PC or like the person in the other room. The second thing you can try is OBS plugins. So I just went and searched on the OBS plugins website and I found a few different ones that actually help reduce noise. So I personally haven't tried them out. I advised you to try out some OBS plugins that will reduce the background noise from your microphone. There's also good OBS plugins that will enhance your microphone to sound a lot better than the default settings. The third thing you want to try is NVIDIA RTX voice. I did get a chance to try this like a year ago I think but I had some issues with it on my computer however for you it might work so what this does is it works with your graphics card and it works with certain graphics cards um, but there is a work around it I think if you have a graphics card that isn't listed but it's an amazing piece of software that will literally remove the sound of your window being open or if you have a fan directly on you it cuts out all of that noise and all it does is pick up your voice. It's amazing if you can get it to work. And my fourth and final tip is basically to just try and improve the space that you're streaming in. So if you want the space you're filming in to be quieter, you can try and get some foam panels to put on the wall. I did this in my old streaming space and they do help. If you're able to cover every single wall, that would probably help even better. It honestly depends on what sort of situation you're in. But yeah, you can get foam panels to absorb some of the noise that works for quite a lot of different people, depending on what foam panels you get. You can just put down more pieces of like fabric and stuff to absorb noise that if you have like an echoey space that can help improve the sound closing your door and then just lastly asking whoever is in your house to keep it down and be a bit quieter shut up 
Oh my god. So those are my four tips. I definitely think just going into like OBS and putting a filter on your microphone to reduce the noise is definitely going to help. Obviously try the plugins or the NVIDIA RTX voice if you're still having a lot of problems with too much background noise. For example, in summer, if it gets really hot and you have to have a fan on in your room or aircon or even just have your window open, it's completely understandable that it's gonna be a lot more noisier. So try and use uh, these tips to reduce the noise while you're streaming. And the last thing to remember is background noise is probably going to be more annoying to you than your viewers. The amount of times I've streamed or recorded a video and I've heard something in the background that doesn't actually get picked up on the recording or the stream. It's mostly just bothering me. <laughs> Try and remember that, that most of your audience is not actually going to bother them. Try not to worry too much as long as your voice sounds good and it's not too noisy and unbearable. If you found this video helpful, make sure you give it a thumbs up so I know and leave a comment down below if you have any other suggestions or questions about keeping your streaming setup nice and quiet. Don't be a lazy potato, keep on creating and sharing your passions online. If this potato can do it, then so can you. Okay, bye!